On the 25th of April 1915, a big part of uh, Reykjavik Center, we can't call it city center because there were only like 15,000 people living in uh, Reykjavik back then, but a big part of the town center got lost then in a big fire. And uh, it's uh, Iceland's most famous and biggest fire, we can say. 10 or 11 houses downtown uh, got destroyed in or lost in the fire. And with me are two experts uh, going to talk about this and uh, about the commemoration of uh, this great fire. Uh, Helga Maureen Gilvadottir from uh, the City Museum, Reykjavik City Museum, and Ingvald Laura Thorodottir from the Fire and Rescue Service. Welcome, ladies. Thank, Thank you. you. So, uh, if we start with, uh, well, Helga, you start by telling me uh, or telling us about the fire. How, what happened? Well, actually, the fire broke out in a hotel in the center mm-hmm. of Reykjavik called Hotel Reykjavik. And it was in the early morning hours of 25th of April, as you just mentioned, in 1915, that the fire broke out. And we know it was in room 28 of the hotel. Uh, this building was soon engulfed in flames, and even though it was a fine spring night, as you said, with a light mm-hmm. southerly or southwest breeze, uh, very shortly uh, the neighboring houses caught fire as well. Uh, the night, the day before, at the hotel, there was a big to-do because there was a very big wedding uh, mm-hmm. at, the, at the hotel, and uh, people were actually still clearing away from the wedding when the fire was noticed. So luckily, people had not uh, returned to the bedrooms when the fire broke out. Uh, there were two people killed in the fire. Yeah, there were two fat- fatalities. There uh-huh. was a worker at the hotel who had been working all day and the days before because of the wedding, running mm-hmm. errands for the mistress of the house. And uh, he said, said to him around 10, 9, 10 in the evening that he could sit, return to his bed. So he did that. So he was fast asleep when the fire happened and he slept in the attic of the hotel. Mm-hmm. So uh, he he lost his life, and then there was another gentleman who wanted to, uh, well, he was actually trying to save his house. He wanted to ah. run up the stairs to the third floor of his building to get to the roof, to get a uh, host down there to host, mm-hmm. uh, host on the fire. Uh, but he was found on the top of the third floor, and his hand was actually reaching out to the window where he was going to. Oh, God. Go. So that was yeah. a really mm-hmm. sad person. But people tried to prevent him to going inside, mm-hmm. but there was nothing they could do, he he was quite adamant of going inside. But uh, if the fire had broken out uh, later or if the big party ha- hadn't been and, and, and uh, all these people awake, then maybe we'd have uh, more, fatalities. More, more fatalities. Yes, yeah. I would think so. Uh-huh. Because it w- the, the people, they, w- they noticed the fire around three in the morning. Mm-hmm. There was people going on their way home and they all of a sudden they say, I clicked in one of the windows. And they ran, and there were people in the hotel, and they didn't even, they weren't aware that the fire ah. had already began. Mm-hmm. So it was a gentleman who was out s- walking along the street who noticed it first. And they were like, what, the man must be crazy. What's he on about <laughs> fire? Fire, he must be drunk. But he ran upstairs and uh, went into one of the rooms, and there was mm-hmm. no fire there. And then he went to the room number 28, and there was actually a big explosion when he opened because ah. of the oxygen. Yeah. And the people were just, they were just hauled out mm-hmm. and th- four or five minutes later the house was in flames. Inga, you work uh, at at the fire brigade or fire and rescue service here. Yeah. Uh, this must be a really big thing in their history. Yes, it is. It's a big thing. Mm-hmm. And um, there was a, there was actually a, uh, some changes made in uh, in the wake of this great fire mm-hmm. um, regarding equipment and stuff. But uh, of course, the the town had literally burnt down, so um, the town was and 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 due to uh, lack of funding, mm-hmm. uh, there wasn't so much done. Uh, but we got a really good new water pump (laughs) (laughs) and that was the first big Uh thing and of course you could say that uh, also there was a change in in um, uh, 
the um, hiring of of people mm-hmm. because of of the new the new water pump that was used in the great fire uh, that uh, the town didn't want to buy for the fire fire department before um but the, the this was a me- mechanical pump that yeah. existed and had been bought uh, three years earlier and uh, by some merchants that wanted to sell it to the town for the fire department. But the town said, no, we don't need it. Uh, we can we can pump by hand. Mm-hmm. And uh, so they, um, but uh, s- straight after the fire, they decided we, we need this pump and we want to buy it for the fire department. And of course, because of that, mm-hmm. that was the first mechanically driven equipment that the fire department had and uh, so they had to start hiring mm. mechanics to work in the fire department ah. so the, so, so from there mm. you could say that we began hiring um, mechanics and, and and people with with mechanical skills, skills. Yeah. Mm-hmm. so um, because these the and these machines were you know, really tricky yeah, yeah. compared to what you have today. So, um, so that w- that was a big change. And mm-hmm. then, and then in in a few years, of course, we got more equipment and bigger, uh, and the b- department uh, became bigger, more people. Uh, Helga, the fire started there in the hotel, and of course, the hotel totally burnt down. Mm-hmm. But there were 10 al- other buildings that followed it. Yeah, yeah. there were the buildings just uh, on both sides of the hotel mm-hmm. and then it went across the street. It also, it c- the uh, our Landsbanki, the, yeah, the bank, bank of yeah, us, that, that caught yeah. fire. And that was actually a stone building. Mm-hmm. But was what was left of that was mainly the outer walls. And they had very high hopes that they would find p- uh, things intact in the safe of the bank itself after the mm-hmm. fire. Uh, there was th- th- this area, is of course, was the most commercial area of yeah. the town at that time. So, so there so were stores and a and lot of stores, yeah. and so a lot of uh, so they they had uh, uh, they, they insurance. They were insured yeah. Yeah. most of the stores, but the hotel was not. Um, oh, yeah. So she lost the most, the owner of the hotel. Uh, but some of the stores uh, had insured their merchandise for for that purpose mm-hmm. um, so it w- there was a lot of stores that went down uh, one big uh, kind of mm, almost like a commercial house called Edinburgh oh yeah all oh that yeah. went out the glass the glass department oh, oh, of oh, Edinburgh oh, oh, and the, the first we could say department, department store, store really, yeah. yeah so they they lost a lot uh-huh. uh, and uh, and then the, the, there was a few. The, it was mostly commercial uh, store uh, housing, but there were some uh, uh, apartments as well, mm-hmm. but not that much as you would expect. But, but the, uh, the new but post house also caught yeah. on fire, and the old children's school. And uh, but they managed to save those houses. Yeah, they managed to save those. Mm-hmm. Uh, so they tried to. Well, the the thing was they were trying mostly to. Uh, save the houses around, so mm-hmm. that was the main focus of the uh, fire department to try to save them. But these were all timber houses, uh, for exa- uh, but not the bank itself, but no, the others. Uh, so they were yeah, dry they and <laughs> just they flamed they up. Yeah, they, they, they just yeah. But went, then up, in went up in flames. But uh, what about the bank? I, I'm curious, the money. But some of it was in the safe, I think. So it yeah. was saved. But for example, in one of the buildings was the newly founded Imskip. Uh huh. So they lost everything, all their offices and all oh, yeah. all documents and everything. But thankfully, it was just in the first year. So yeah. <laughs> but uh, good for us. Had just recently been to Reykjavik mm-hmm. and had just left a few days before. So they lost everything. And then it's you know, when you're reading the um, the papers in the aftermath of the fire, you see advertisements from the actually the the shopkeepers and owners of these houses, and they are you know asking, uh, f- please, um, uh, fellow Reyk- people yeah, of Reykjavik, yeah. if you owe us money, please come and see us yeah. there and ah, there because our we don't have any records of it records anymore. Records <laughs> well, so ah, so the Utlana book, as we call yeah. it, the book of loans. That's kind of right. And because and uh, back then uh, it was very common that you didn't pay cash for uh, 
for for things you bought in stores, mm. but you you had an account. Yeah, an account. And yeah. so the books got the lost. Book oh was God! Lost. So I have seen adverts right from A. E. Liakos, and he's uh-huh. asking for this and others. So and there are actually description of uh, uh, shopkeepers who have people coming to them and paying old debts that they didn't even know they had mm-hmm. so okay uh, so so people were more or less honorable, honorable. Yeah. <laughs> yeah honest and also there were also kind of uh, advertisement uh-huh. as well about things that were missing in, in all the commotion of trying mm-hmm. to because uh, of course the fire uh, department came of course yeah. and their, their, their job was to try to stop the fire <laughs> but then people ca- came all from all around and just to help mm-hmm. to save save things you know mm-hmm. from the houses so they're all kind of description of all the commotion that people are carrying things down mm-hmm. and th- things actually got some uh, more broke <laughs> <laughs> during the rescue there's a, d- a description yeah. of an uh, elderly gentleman who's saving flowers in and he takes the flowers pots mm-hmm. and he just dumps them out the window <laughs> and then they just <laughs> so their description in yeah. the papers about people advertising you know lost in the fire r- a red velvet chair please return to yeah this and this and exactly. press so <laughs> well almost all big cities uh kind of have their own big fire mm-hmm. i mean in london it was 1666 uh that well that was a huge fire mm-hmm. uh stockholm had one and uh, most as i say cities have their own version mm-hmm. of the big fire mm-hmm. and uh, from that the new city sort of uh, comes yeah, and yeah, yeah. and uh, inca uh, do you think maybe our city center would be different if this fire hadn't broken out? Uh, do you think some of the small houses would still be standing there? I I guess so. Mm-hmm. I think so because many of these houses you can see the pictures and and <coughs> if people are interested we are which we're going to talk about a little yeah. bit we are going to have an exhibition exactly. down, downtown and uh, where people can see these houses because they have been photographed mm-hmm. and um, and these these are beautiful houses and we would probably have yeah. some of them kept in. Yeah. 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 And, yeah. and then our city center would be quite different from yes. what it is today. Yeah. And some might even say more beautiful. I would say so. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And uh, uh, yeah, and one really special thing you showed me a photograph taken at the wedding uh yeah. the night before or mm-hmm. yeah the evening before this is just a few hours before yeah. the fire mm-hmm. i mean we're not talking about uh, 2000 uh, and uh, what is it today 15 <laughs> 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 where everybody has an iphone or something like that mm-hmm. and we are snapping pictures all over uh back then uh pictures were quite uh, well hard to come by mm. and there we have actually a picture of hotel reykjavik or inside hotel reykjavik mm-hmm. with a big group of people just a few hours before the fire mm-hmm. i mean that's really mm. yeah. special to have a photograph of this beautiful hotel mm. just before yeah. yes because it was also a very popular hotel. Mm-hmm. It's a big hotel and it had uh, special halls for dancing and private parties like the wedding yeah. itself. Mm. And actually for the wedding, they changed one of the room, uh, one of the halls into a little chapel. Ah, almost. so they so got, the, the, wed- so the, they they got wed- married at in the hotel okay. themselves. Okay. Yeah. So, so it was, uh, uh, it was uh, yeah. very popular. And the king stayed there yeah. in 1907. Oh, <laughs> yeah, the Danish king. <laughs> of course. Yeah, the yes. Danish I- slash Icelandic king. Yes. And yeah. you're going to have an exhibition in the town hall, uh, city hall. Mm. <laughs> Would yeah. have been town hall, city <laughs> hall today. Uh, uh, <coughs> down by the lake uh, yes. or, or pond in, uh, yeah, we call it pond. Well, lake, mm-hmm. uh, down, downtown Reykjavik yes. uh, in the city hall. That uh, exhibition starts on the 21st. Yes, it starts on the 21st, mm-hmm. and we are collaborating with um, um, children. Yeah, the Children's Culture Festival. Culture, yes. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. And there, so mm-hmm. they are going to share um, the hall with us. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, the, the exhibition opens uh, on, uh, on Tuesday, 21st. Yeah. And will be open... We're, it's not quite certain yet mm-hmm. how long, but maybe two weeks or. Okay. And uh, uh, and there we are going to show this 
old pump, for example, the, oh, the pump, okay. the pump from 1915. Then, where are we the, talking the, about the hand? The, no, the no, me- mechanical, yeah, the pump. mechanical yeah, one, which was yeah, bought yeah, afterwards. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. So we have two uh-huh. pumps, and we have a, a the, what we have kept from uh, from the, this era, and and uh, also. Picture, p- pictures, pictures of, 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 of the fire. Yeah. Yeah. From, from the fire. There are a few mm-hmm. pictures of the fire itself. Okay. Yeah. So we can see all that. Mm-hmm. And and uh, and one of the one of the things that uh, we are especially um, in, uh, proud of mm-hmm. that we're going going to show are uh, paintings or pictures by made by Balthasar Samper. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. uh, the so father of the father uh, of the uh, famous uh, yeah. <laughs> director mo- Balthasar. Di- yeah. Yeah. And he, he is. He lives in Iceland. He mm-hmm. is. He is Spanish, I yeah. believe. And um, and he made these. Um, he did these pictures in in uh, nineteen sixty three mm-hmm. for a book that came out and was written about this great fire ah. uh, just before the fiftieth anniversary mm-hmm. of the fire. Mm. And uh, he actually. He, um, Gave us permission to show th- these mm-hmm. um, these beautiful drawings, drawings mm-hmm. um, at the exhibition. Mm-hmm. So okay. they are going to have a special place. Yeah, and then we hopefully are also going to show little films from mm-hmm. there uh, from 1921 and show a uh, rehearsal from the fire brigade. Yeah. Okay. So so, so that's <laughs> be there as well. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So movies, uh-huh. movies, little movies. Yeah. yeah. So. And the big, but the big mm-hmm. day is yes, is the twenty fifth. Yeah. yeah. And that is a Saturday. Mm-hmm. So, um, so we are. Um, yes, we're gonna uh, put up a little show. On yes, it. we're having a little play mm. downtown, a little walk around the site itself where the oh fire yeah. took place mm-hmm. yeah. and we're going to put in a theatrical kind of oh. atmosphere. So that yeah. sounds inter- mm. interesting. Yeah. And we also have mm. um, old uh, fire trucks mm-hmm. from uh, from the last hundred years for show mm. up at Östervetler. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Uh-huh. And, um, right, right in front of uh, the parliament. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. just about yeah. just mm-hmm. in Torvald. Torvald, Torvald yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So this will take place from one till five mm-hmm. o'clock on yeah, the Saturday. On the Saturday the so we're hoping yeah. for this mm-hmm. beautiful weather. Yeah. gonna. Of course, we're gonna have beautiful weather because the first yeah. day of summer is just two days before. Yeah. So it's gonna be summertime. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be summertime. <laughs> Let's hope so. Mm. Well, Helga and uh, Ingvaldur, thank you so much for coming in here and telling us about well this commemoration of uh, the hundred years since the big fire in Reykjavik. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I know Londoners might not think it's such a big fire with uh, <laughs> yeah. 11 houses going. Yeah. Uh, I was reading about their big fire. It was uh, thousands of houses yeah. and, and it stood for three days yeah. or something like that. But still, this is our big fire yeah. and a hundred years since then. But thank you so much for coming in here. Thank, thank you. you for having me.